you know that there's actually a risk of a spontaneous solar explosion? That in fact, one unfortunate event can trigger a fatal chain reaction that cannot be stopped? How would we experience this ultimate catastrophe? Does it matter where we are at the time of the explosion? Or is there a place in this world we can survive? And if so, for how long? How many victims would this catastrophe claim? You will be shocked. And as unlikely as it may be, let's still ask the question. What if the sun exploded? Our journey begins at the end. Can it really happen, or is it just pure fiction? In this scenario, a series of intense solar flares erupt from the surface of the Sun due to complex magnetic interactions. One extremely powerful flare sets off a chain reaction within the Sun's core, leading to a runaway fusion reaction. This causes the Sun's core to rapidly heat up and expand, destabilizing the surrounding layers of the Sun. The resulting explosion ejects a significant portion of the Sun's mass into space. Now how would we experience these events on Earth? Well, first of all, nothing happens. The Sun's light takes about 8 minutes and 20 seconds to reach us. So for the next 8 and a half minutes we had no idea that our fate is already sealed. Life on Earth continues as always, but only for a short time because the countdown is running. And after this 8 and a half minutes the light of the explosion reaches Earth. In terms of brightness a solar explosion would be comparable to the initial flash of a nuclear explosion. On the day side of our planet, without any warning, humans would suddenly be exposed to a level of brightness that would instantly blind many millions of people. Anyone who find themselves in a dark place at this moment can count themselves lucky, but only for a short time because things will get much worse. But first let's take a look at the night side of our planet. And here too the light of the explosion would be clearly visible. And when the light of the explosion has passed you can see the moon for about one last second. Time light needs to pass the distance between earth and moon. And while no one knows what happened and chaos and panic may erupt, things are going much worse on the former day side. Because such an explosion produces radiation throughout the whole electromagnetic spectrum. Among other things huge amounts of gamma and x-ray radiation would be released. Such a powerful source of radiation in this short distance would result in a massive irradiation of the planet's day side, and thus a mass extinction of life in these areas probably within a few days. However, the radiation could not reach the other side of the planet because even gamma rays cannot penetrate the Earth. So have the people there already gotten over the worst? This most powerful coronal mass ejection of all time will give you the light show of your life. When these huge amounts of charged particles hit the Earth's atmosphere, extreme northern lights illuminate the cooling Earth for the very last time. The entire atmosphere would glow brightly for the duration of the solar storm. But it will throw us back into the stone ages. Because as the solar storm rages, the influx of charged particles induces electrical currents in power lines and transformers. The power supply is now paralyzed worldwide and there's no radio communication, cell phones no longer work and there's no internet. And while it gets colder and colder in complete darkness and survivors think it can't get any worse, the Earth drifts into space. Because with the sun its gravity has also disappeared. The planets of the former solar system are now drifting aimlessly into the vastness of space. And as the Earth drifts away and billions of people gradually freeze to death, one question arises. Will there be any survivors? In the long term, probably not. The military facilities built deep underground to withstand a nuclear war will be the places where people will survive the longest. But at some point supplies will run out there too. But most likely the survivors won't live to see that. With the sun's gravity the order of the solar system has also been lost. Everything that previously circled around the sun now drifts around aimlessly. And there's a very very high chance that the freezing earth will collide with other celestial bodies. At the best with large asteroids. At the worst with other planets. Is life now lost? In the very best scenario, the Earth ends up in the gravitational field of one of the large planets, for example Jupiter's. As a moon of this gas giant, Earth has a small chance of new life emerging deep beneath the ice of the frozen oceans, but only in form of primitive, simple life. But the time of humanity has been long forgotten. 